Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm very excited to be with you guys here today. Today is Training Tip Tuesday, and I have a special horse I want to show you today and a, a concept about training that, that there's a lot of confusion about, and then and, uh, and that has to do with the timing or how long it should take to train a horse. And <clears throat> there's some people that believe that a minimum of, of six months or a minimum of 12 months before a horse can be ready to ride by his owner or her owner and I, I have a, a few different opinions and it may stir up some stir up some feathers and kick up some dust a little bit but I just wanted to show you a couple or this scenario that I'm in right now now this horse that I'm riding here his name is Rip and Rip is a a two and a half year old Mustang and he's a two and a half year old Mustang and there were a lot of concerns about his with his owner about whether or not he would be a good horse and because of his, he like he paces when he's by himself, and he can't seem to calm down. So uh, he he had legitimate concerns. But this something in, uh, special about Rip is that Rip has a lot of humanizing. So he's he doesn't have really any bad habits, and he's had he's been humanized, well humanized. So he he uh, he's he's relaxed around humans. He's relaxed around humans. He's re relaxed around flags. Although I don't think he's really had much flag desensitizing or stick and steering string desensitizing or plastic bag desensitizing. But Rip, this is literally Rip's third training session. His third training session, only his second training session here at Riata Horsemanship. I went and did a free evaluation with him and we came so far in that free evaluation that his owner decided to put 30 days into him and see how far we could get. Again, this is day two and somebody just came over here with another horse and so He's, he's looking over there and getting, he's not getting excited, but he's interested in that horse. So uh, this is day two, like I said, of, of my working with him here at Riyadh Horsemanship. And I'm riding him and doing some filming on top of him because I feel that safe with him. Uh, I've trotted him around. I've, I've used the one, uh, I'm, I'm just using a halter with him and guiding him with the halter but this is my point about RIP and about training. You know, some people think that uh, not even 90 days is enough time with a horse. Well, let me tell you something. I've never had a horse 90 days. Besides one time I had a horse 90 days, but it was the, train the, the owner wanted to get some more professional training into the horse. Now, if you wanna get a horse ready for uh, professional reining and cutting, then that's certainly something that's gonna take more time. But what I'm talking about is something similar to learning a language. You can, as a human being, you can learn a language pretty well, enough to communicate with most people in about uh, about six months. Now, and, and then with training a horse, I think 30 to 60 days, you can teach a horse 95% of what that horse needs to know in order to be safe under saddle. Uh, sometimes a horse like Rip, I think in 30 days, He's going to be so doing so well that actually his owner, who's very, very green, will be able to ride him and ride him safely. That's what I predict because of how fast he's coming along and how good his mind is. So it just depends on his horse, on the horse. It depends on the rider's um, ability, it, uh, the owner's ability, riding ability and horsemanship ability. And it depends on the trainer's ability. So some trainers uh, and how long the, how, how much time the trainer puts in and what kind of focus time the trainer puts in every day. So if you have a trainer that just takes his time or her time and puts 15 minutes a day, yeah, it might take six months, but I put a minimum of an hour and a half a day into my horses. And it seems like that's, a, that's the right amount of time, a minimum of an hour and a half. Sometimes when I go out on rides, it takes, it takes a lot longer than that. Two hours, two and a half hours, three hours. It just depends where I might go out on a long trail ride. The bottom line is I spend a minimum of, of an hour and a half a day on my horses and and it's rare that i keep a horse more than a month and the, most horses go back ready for their their owners now if a, if a horse is brand new it's, it's a, a colt that i'm starting and that horse uh, has a lot of issues and sensitivity issues it might take a couple months to get that horse ready for his owner and sometimes if a horse is super sensitive or has some issues like bolting and running off and having some negative issues in their past that can be really challenging to overcome and that can take a lot longer to fix that kind of a problem, especially if the owner is green, doesn't really know what he or she is doing. And 
So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend 30 days in that case. Now, most trainers are gonna balk at this, at what I'm saying here, but this is my experience. I, because I put focus time onto a minimum of an hour and a half a day, I can get a horse, not every horse, but most horses in about 30 days, I can get them pretty safe to ride inside the arena and outside on the urban and rural trails. So that's just a, a, a training tip for today. I hope that's something to chew on for you guys. I know, I know it's, a, it's, it's, it's a controversial issue and there are gonna be a lot of people that really have a problem with what I'm saying here, but that's just my experience. And, and if you have the right trainer and they put the right amount of time into the horse, uh, you can get done, you can get your horse trained a lot faster than some might make you believe. And they might absolutely believe that it might take six months to get the horse where they need to be. And maybe in their, in their world, that's true. It probably is. But in mine, I can get it done a lot quicker than that. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, live with passion, live with purpose, and stay safe in the saddle.